Hey, hi, hello, it's Casey, and today we're at Royal Caribbean's private island, perfect day at Coco Cay. We have the entire island to ourselves. Well, let's go check it out. We're trying to find the gangway to get off because normally there's two gangways at the front and back of the ship and then when it starts getting later in the day once most of the people are off they move it to just one gangway on deck one but it's only on one side of the ship and you have to go up to deck four then go all the way down and cross i don't know we've almost made it though and i'm very excited because we have the whole island to ourselves good there's a tram that'll take you down or you can walk down. I've never been on this side. I'm usually docked on this side and then you walk down, but we are the only ship here today. And that's amazing because that means it's gonna be an empty day at Coco Cay. The weather over here looks rather scary. The weather over here looks great and sunny. So here's to hoping it stays like that and doesn't turn into that because that could go very bad very fast. But I'm so excited. This is my favorite island ever. Like if I could travel to here every day, I would. The cool thing is that we are literally the only ship here, which the captain, the captain, the cruise director said yesterday that that does not happen very often, and we're a smaller ship. So that means that this island is gonna be empty. That's amazing. The cruise director said yesterday that we are the only ship at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, which does not happen very often. But look at this, we're literally the only ship. There's no ship on this side, and we're a smaller ship, which is awesome because this whole island is all to ourselves, and there's not that many of us. This is amazing. I love this. It's gonna be a perfect day at Coco Cay. Let's go. Perfect day, Coco Cay. Perfect day, Coco Cay. Okay, say, perfect day, Coco Cay. Okay, say, perfect day. The trams are going by. You can take a tram right when you get off the boat and it'll bring you around the island, which is really nice if you don't wanna walk the whole way. It's not a very far walk at all, but if you don't wanna walk, that's an option. Especially at the end of the day when you're tired. There's live music. It's called the Junk New Dancers Band. And there's a live DJ and they dance and they greet you onto the island. It ends at 10.30. It's 10.29 right now. Will we make it? I don't know. It's supposed to be right here. Let's see. There they go. Bye. Look at their cool costumes. I love that. Let's go to Chill Island, but first, look at this really cool sandcastle. I could make that. Look at this. There's a turtle in it. How is that not ruined? Because that was here when we were here four months ago. Maybe they put like glue in it or something. I'm not a sandcastle professional. I like it, whatever it is. Our ship looks so tiny from over here. But like so massive when you're next to it. Look how beautiful she is. I love this view. So we're running to food right now, not because we haven't eaten plenty of food on this cruise, but because it just started raining. Uh-oh, it's coming down. Let's go! I think the real test of busyness will be to see how busy Oasis Lagoon is. Because Oasis Lagoon is always packed. And there's literally no one here. Oh my gosh, there's no one here. This is nice. Let me get on the bridge and I'll show you. So usually Oasis Lagoon is packed. Like you can't find a seat. There's literally no one here. Like it's not even, it's not even half full. This is so nice. We've made it to the snack shack. I'm so excited. 
We've got mozzarella sticks and french fries, chicken sandwich, funnel cake, and all with a really cool view. It just started pouring when we were getting our food, so that's inconvenient. <laughs> But at least we're kind of undercover right now. My back is getting soaked. It's raining hard. Let's eat this food. The chicken sandwich is the best thing on Perfect Day at Coco Cake, like the best thing ever, so make sure you try that. Delicious. It's raining really hard right now, but this chicken sandwich, 10 out of 10. My back is getting soaked. It's pouring. A stormy day. Coco Cake. So in my last vlog, when we were on the Harmony, we had the funnel cake and I said it was absolutely disgusting and rock hard. But right now it's fresh and brand new and it's amazing. Nine out of 10. I had to make up for last time because last time was gross and hard, but that was really good. The cookies didn't look rock hard like they were last time. So I'll try those and let you know. Food update. Okay, bye. The seagulls are out in full swing. Hi, buddy. What's up? Are they under the table? Go away. Go away. That's Sammy the seagull. Oh my gosh, the seagulls are freaking out right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Can I help you? What are you barking at? Oh my goodness, they are everywhere. What are they all doing? Seagulls, don't come to this snack shack <laughs> or to this pool area because they are everywhere and they are not afraid of you. Hello. So at the pool bar, can I help you? At the pool bar, they had cans of Diet Coke. So if you want cans instead of like the bar machines, go to the pool bar. Not the pool bar, the snack shack bar. Go to the snack shack bar. I'm vibing. Cheers. If you ever want to know where I am at any given point in life, I'm probably at Perfect Day Coke okay, with a Diet Coke in my hand. Vibing with the seagulls and eating a chicken sandwich. We're back at Oasis Lagoon and there's still no one in this pool. This bar is packed. There's a lot of people over here. This pool is empty, which isn't common. Even the pool isn't that busy. It's just the bar area. They even have a crew member taking pictures in the water. That's super cool. So if you want to get your photos in Oasis Lagoon, you can. See, the bar area is packed, but the pool is not that bad. We've made it to the Skipper's Grill. Oh, <laughs> I didn't touch that, I just fell off. We've made it to Skipper's Grill. Are we gonna get more food? Probably, but you know what? That's the point of a cruise. They have burgers and hot dogs and chicken and corn. Looks so good. They have a topping station. They have a whole sandwich station with lots of different sandwiches. They have a whole taco station. That's cool. I like tacos. And they have a salad station, but it's not open yet. My favorite is that they have a whole fruit table, but then on the other side of the fruit table is cookies and brownies. Just to make you feel good about yourself and your decisions. Ice cream time. We got ice cream. I'm very excited. You can get unlimited ice cream. I also got a cookie. I'm gonna try to make an ice cream cookie sandwich. The good thing is it's not super hot out, so it's not melting just yet, but you can get as many ice creams as you want. She gave me a big ice cream. It's bigger than my head. But cruise ice cream slaps. It's different. I like it. 
Do you guys eat the cone? Comment down below. The cone is like my favorite part. I like it. <laughs> Delicious. We have a view of the ship in the background. See her in all of her glory? Okay, it's starting to melt. Bye. My favorite is that there's a sign on the table that says don't feed the birds, but the best part is the other side says watch your food. The birds are watching too. And honestly, I love that. They are always watching. So we just ate at Skipper's Grill, which is a lot better than where we were at the snack shack before because there are no seagulls. It's a lot more quiet, but you still have the music from Oasis Lagoon, which is nice. And now we're over at Harbor Beach, which is awesome because, oh, the seagulls have made their way over here, but they were not over here when it opened. You can see the ocean. You can see our independence of the seas and all of her glory out there. You can see the water park. This is a really nice, calm beach because there's a it's its own little like alcove of the ocean in this one little area. There's a little like floating beach mats out there. There's life jackets you can rent. This is a really nice area and it is raining right now. Of course, it just stopped. It has been raining since we got on this island. And this is nice because there's little umbrellas at all of the chairs. You can hide from the rain, the sun, all that fun stuff but it is beautiful. I love this island so much. I love Coco Cay. It's virtually empty because there's only one ship here and it's a small ship, so plenty of stuff to do. I love this. Pro tip, the restaurants open a little bit earlier than they say they do. Skipper's Grill said it opened at 11.30, but we went at like 11.10 and it was open. So if you wanna go early with no crowds, you can probably do that because they usually seem to open about 10, 15 minutes early. So do that and you won't have any crowds or lines and you get ice cream first in line. 10 out of 10. I love this island. The vibes of Perfect Day Coco Cay, immaculate. 10 out of 10. Harbor Beach has the best view of Daredevil's Peak. It's a very fancy water slide and I don't know if I'm brave enough to go down it, but if you get a chance to go in the water park, it is a separate admission. It's about $100 per person, but it is so worth it. Okay, look how cute this adorable little picture frame is. This is everything. I love this. Every day. Go, go, okay. Earlier there was a crew member standing here taking photos with it. But right now it's just an open picture frame. This picture frame is super cute. And look at Daredevil's Peak. Would you do that? Comment down below if you would be brave enough to ride that. I don't know if I would, but it looks pretty cool. I want to do that. I also want to do the zip line. There's a whole zip line on this island. How crazy is that? All of the different buildings and shacks on this island are so pretty. The colors are incredible. There's palm trees everywhere. It's so calm and serene. There's a snorkel shack. You can rent snorkeling gear. You can rent kayaking gear. There's floating beach mats. You can rent bungalows over the water. Those are cool. There's plenty of beach chairs with umbrellas that are complimentary all over the different beaches. So pretty. I could live on this island. And again, look how empty this is. There's like literally no one here. This is incredible. We have the entire island to ourselves and I never want to leave. I wish it was like this every time. <laughs> That's the Skipper's Grill and Harbor Beach that we were just at. And then there's Daredevil's Peak. You go over this bridge and then you're back to the ship in case you wanted a reference point of where we were. If you go over to this beach, there's absolutely no one over there. I don't see a single person. <laughs> when we went on the Freedom, you should go check out that vlog. We had this entire area to ourselves. This is beautiful. So that's where our ship is. And this is the alley, the, not the alley. So that's where our ship is. And this is where you walk down to get to the main island. There's a little kids pirate water area. That's so cute. This is where the entrance of Thrill Water Park is. There's Daredevil's Peak. That's insane. It's so tall. And then over here is a tram station if you wanted to take the tram from the boat. When you get off the ship, usually we go that way and that's where Chill Island and the Snack Shack is. But we're gonna go down to the right and see what's down here. It might just be a tram station, but we're gonna go explore. Here's a Captain Jack's bar over here. It's a super nice, relaxing, very well-themed bar. And then over to the right is Sandy Lane. 
we're back at the Skipper's Grill because we need water. And then we're gonna go down and take the tram because we haven't done that yet. And I wanna show you what it's like to take the tram back to the boat. And I'm assuming it's more fun. And we walked further away just so we could take the scenic tram instead of the tram that just goes down the main walkway. They don't have lemonade on this one, which is really sad. Royal Caribbean lemonade is the best thing ever. But I guess I'll do with water for now. I don't know what's up there, but it looks like a really pretty area. Oh, South Beach. Yeah. Up, up, and away. Comment down below if we should do this hot air balloon called Up, Up, and Away next time. Because it looks super cool and you can see the entire island. The balloon is down today for weather. But comment down below if you want to see us do the Up, Up, and Away hot air balloon next time. Because it looks so fun and you can see views of the entire island. But it's down. Look how big it looks when it's on the ground. <laughs> I love that the literal name of it is Up, Up, and Away. Whoever named that needs a raise because I love that. <laughs> this entire island and there's no one in this whole area this is crazy literally the whole island to ourselves there's a parrot what's his name Perry Flynn. Flynn that's Flynn the parrot I just made that up where does the tram go we are here over there how do we get over there okay let's go that way there's the tram <laughs> It's huge. That is the prettiest balloon I've ever seen. I love that. I want to go on it so bad. We found the back of the balloon. And it's closed for weather. Look how pretty it is. Up, up, and away. I know I've said this a million times, but we've been walking around for like 10 minutes and there's no one. We haven't seen a single soul. Everybody is in Oasis Lagoon and there's not even that many people. I don't think I ever realized just how huge this island really is because we're still walking and we're not at the tram station yet. This island is massive. We found a whole beach volleyball court. There's people in there playing beach volleyball. That's awesome. There's so much to do on this island, including beach volleyball. And there's a basketball court over there. We walked for about 15 minutes, but we've made it to the tram station. And we walked to the further one just so we can show you what the scenic route of the tram is like. <laughs> they have the beach cabana bungalows over there. And I really want to rent one of those one day. They're over water, you can go in the ocean, you get floating beach mats, your own little bungalow. Comment down below if you want us to rent one of those one day. But they're like $1,500. So that's like a much later thing. The tram has arrived. on the tram because it's spilling everywhere. <laughs> this is a very bumpy tram. Oh my gosh, we're cruising. Holy cow, we're going fast. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy cow, we're cruising. This tram is the bumpiest thing. <laughs> my water is spilling everywhere. park when you have the tram ride. We only waited about five minutes for the tram, but this is more fun than walking, for sure. We walked all the way and now you have to transfer to another tram to take you back to the ship. We didn't know that. Oh, oh, oh. he just whacked into that palm tree. That was fun, but now we have to switch to another tram. was an adventure. We're staying on and it's taking us to stop number two, which is Chill Island. You can either get off here and go back to the ship, walk back to the ship, or wait for a tram to take you back to the ship, or you can go to Chill Island. So we're going back. So this is where the tram brought us. It doesn't tell you anywhere that this one does not go to the ship. So I guess you kind of just got to get on and hope it gets to the ship or ask. But now we're going to wait for one that does take us to the ship and try that. So they don't actually tell you which trams go where. You kind of just have to wait or ask. 
when they pull up. So there's one tram that goes from South Beach to Chill Island to Oasis Lagoon to the tram station that's in front of the ship. And then there's a different tram set that takes you to the actual ship. So we, you don't really know which one's which. You just kind of got to ask. Now we know. There's an empty tram coming right now, so I guess we'll find out. But make sure you get on the right one or else you're just going for an amusement park ride, which isn't bad. It was fun. <laughs> See, these bigger double ones go everywhere except the ship. Hey, there's the volleyball court. We're back where we started. <laughs> Tram's nice. It is quiet. I like this. Oh, oh. Need a seatbelt for this. Such a nice view of the ship. Stop and show our seat best card. Look at her beauty. <laughs> Move! <laughs> really? <laughs> Does not want to move. And just like that, we're back. That was so nice. That was nice. For the breeze alone, that was nice. The breeze was intense, but that was so nice. Now we're gonna get back on the ship and keep exploring.